Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today on Tundra Tactical, we're going to be talking about how to turn your home into a fortress. So stay tuned, thanks for watching, and let's start the show. Home defense is a popular concern for most Second Amendment-loving, God-fearing, red-blooded, bacon-eating, beer-drinking, drone-shooting, tinfoil hat-wearing people these days. And because openly talking about it or asking your coworkers about this topic will quickly get you on a list shared throughout the alphabet soup of three-letter agencies, we at Tundra Tactical come up with some easy tips on turning your home into a tasteful yet defendable fighting position. First step is to make sure that you have lots of knives. Place them everywhere. Tape them above doors, under counters, behind stairs, next to the TV, under your dashboard, inside your tackle box, to the back of your doors, on the windows, in the refrigerator, on the front of your doors, inside your boots, and to other knives. Yes! Get over there! But never in the microwave. Don't trust a microwave. If the government can control radio waves, it can turn your microwave against you. Speaking of microwaves, we like to tie these things to sturdy ropes and set them precariously, home alone style, into positions where they can be used as booby traps to smack intruders in the face when they open doors or trigger trip wires. I'm setting booby traps! The weight of one of these devices, combined with its potential for glass to smash them in their face and cause massive damage, makes them superior to paint cans in all applications. Your next step is to place no less than two M60 machine guns per side of the house on the highest level. This will ensure that you have interlocking sectors of fire, providing full 360 degree layers of security around your home. 240 Bravos can be substituted, but they just don't sound quite as cool when they're chooching at their cyclic rates of fire. Next up, Claymores. Everywhere. The thought of surrounding the perimeter of your property with razor wire has crossed our minds, but we did say this would be a tasteful video, and we find that concertina wire is more subtle and will help keep your neighbors docile enough to still invite you over for a beer, but not so comfortable they'll be coming over to your house on Tuesday to borrow a cup of sugar when you know damn well they're never going to return that sugar. The fuck do you want? Trying to borrow some sugar. Consider painting your house in a non-reflective color, such as olive drab or desert tan based on the natural foliage of your locale. Krylon works great for making your Mosin Nagant classy. It can do the same to your home. Take all of those books that you bought to make you look smart, hollow those sons of bitches out and fill them with pistols and magazines. If you're anything like us, you have exactly zero chance of ever getting around to reading them. Seriously, if you don't have the motivation to take down your Christmas lights, well then, don't think for a second you're going to find the motivation to read something when the Tropic Thunder Laserdisc is sitting on your shelf. Now that you've created a fully defensible position from your humble abode, you have to worry about the manpower to arm all those machine guns. Condoms are not your friend at this point, folks. Have as many children as possible. Overpopulation is not a concern as an efficient fire team made up of your offspring will be more than capable of evening out that equation. While children under the age of 12, generally speaking, shouldn't be trusted with weapons alone, you can get around this by teaming them up and putting them behind crew-served weapons for a much safer option. Food can be a concern now that you've turned your two-bedroom prefab into a rabbit den reminiscent of a clown car every morning when the children go off to catch the bus. There's a running joke that Twinkies will last forever and sustain life even through a nuclear holocaust. Now, this is only mostly true. Make sure you stock up on things like chicken tuna and hot dogs to keep that protein in your diet should you need to shut yourself in for a long-term engagement. Don't worry about vegetables. I don't eat things that my food eats. Ron, would you like some salad? <laughs> Since I am not a rabbit, no, I do not. Also, stock up on light beer and tobacco. No explanation needed. Now, on certain YouTube channels, we've seen folks training their family to don and doff protected gear in the event of a chemical attack. But with a diet consisting strictly of preservative-laden snacks, your whole family should be immune to any chemical known to man. Stock up on lighters. During the zombie apocalypse, the last thing you want is to have all those cigarettes and not be able to light one up after a long day. Replace your rock garden with punji pits. Use your knowledge of thermodynamics to create explosive devices that can be placed throughout the streets of your neighborhood in case of an armored attack. Hardwire or remote detonation both have their pros and cons, so we'll leave this one up to you 
And finally, even the best fighting positions can be overtaken, and that's why we think it's important to have a fallback position. You'll probably be far too exhausted to run any great distance because of all the energy required to make that giant brood of children that you've created, so we recommend no further than your backyard. Dig a cave system that you can live in until this whole thing blows over, and if your neighbors ask what you're working on, just say that you're digging a pool and wink. That should throw them off their scent of suspicion. Danny, don't worry about it. We hope you enjoyed our guide to home defense made easy. If you dislike this video, and you don't have enough claymores yet. If you liked the video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and share it around with your friends. Consider subscribing to the channel and checking out our Patreon page to stay up to date on current and future content. And if you feel like repping some Tundra swag, head on down to the link in the description below to our brand new store on Teespring. Thanks for watching Tundra Nation, and you can now find us on Instagram at TundraTacticalMN.